Hello Pins and Pitmans, my name is Dumb Mike. Today I'm actually here to do a new Dumb Mike play of Mafia 3. And this is going to be a new Dumb Mike play I'm actually definitely going to be doing. Um, before I actually get started, I could have done it yesterday. I could have like uploaded a, maybe one to two parts of Mafia 3. But to be honest, I did because I was I didn't know about the early release. You know, early release launch from um, GameStop. Launch release. And I was told St. Peter at 1130. So I said, okay. So I went up there. And guess what? It was 11 when it did it. But then it... Fuck it. Fuck it. It fucked me over. So so today, we're going to be doing a new game. And I already played just a little bit because it's the... You no, know, because I was doing it on XSplit. But now i got to do it on here to have a perfect recording. But like I said, we're just going to play it to see how it goes. And we're going to put it on hard. And we're going to put it on assist off. Um, I pretty much did all the settings and everything just to start off. I like some of this part of Louisiana does not even look like it, but there's some part that does, which is pretty awesome. Um, they kind of just spooked it up a little bit, like, like, like right here, yeah, you see that boat? Yeah, that's normally was there. The boat, yeah, they took some parts from New Orleans and actually put it in there, because I was literally from New Orleans. I was born and raised in New Orleans, but my mom, she was born down here, which... Because she used to, um, she lived it. She lived with me in New Orleans, but um, after Hurricane Katrina came out of nowhere and destroyed everything, we moved here. I was here for two months, and I moved to Texas, and so now I'm here now. But like, yeah, but my mom, she just lived in New Orleans. I didn't. I mean, I, I was just born and raised. My view, the my view three takes place in the uh, fertilizing verse version of the American South of 1960, uh, 1968. We saw that the creation of in the pervious experience that uh, captures this very tumblings and time and place, including departure and whatever. Racism, yep. Racism is all is forms. Damn. Fuck, okay. So we're going to have to go through all the racism and shit. That's pretty cool. Modern city with traditional southern values. I underestimated how far he was going to go. What he was willing to do. Visit the historic French Ward and enjoy local cuisine at one of our five-star restaurants. Killing them wasn't enough. Lincoln Clay was using them to send a message. Or spend the afternoon in the bayou and take in its natural splendor. Sal Marcano had no idea what he was going to unleash. New Bordeaux. Safe. Family-oriented fun. Make it your next vacation destination. This city survived the War of 1812, the Civil War, and God knows how many hurricanes. But when Lincoln Clay went after the mob, he inflicted more damage than all the wars and hurricanes combined. Mafia 3, bro. Mafia 3, bro. Lincoln's mother abandoned him in 1947, a couple of years after he was born. His mother, I heard she was Dominican. I always figured his father was white, maybe even not Italian. Not that it mattered. Back then, if you look back... Uh, oh, Joe Barbaro! He was speaking about Joe Barbaro! Famous today, I suppose. He's an Italian. Well, not that it matters. That's Joe Barbaro. Well, when did you meet Joe Barbaro? That's Joe Barbaro's son. I was running black ops out of Laos on behalf of the CIA. He was loaned out to me via joint CIA DOD task force. He's a quiet boy. Good boy. Two Purple Hearts, the Bronze Star, and the Distinguished Service Cross. Drake. <laughs> he served this country with honor and distinction. After the city closed the orphanage, he fell in with Sammy Robinson. Sammy ran the black mob over in Delray Hollow. I can't say I approve, but often colored boys didn't have a lot of options back then. Boys like Lincoln, the ones who've been abandoned. They're always looking for a home. Always looking for a place to belong. I think he thought he'd find it in the army. 
thing is, once that's lost, you never get it back again. When he returned from the war, Lincoln ended back up over at Sammy's. Now Sammy owed the Italian mob a whole lot of money. Oh, look at that guy in the background. Lincoln's help. The guy in the back? <laughs> it's a damn shame what happened. It breaks my heart. Oh, man! Oh, February 27, 1968, Mardi Gras. Hell yeah, dude. In New Bronx, Louisiana. New Orleans, bruh, bruh. New Orleans. New Orleans, nigga. That crawfish, Still everything. This is the craziest goddamn thing I ever heard. Using real money to rob the feds. Well, hell, man, not like this is our cash. This all came from Skeletta. Besides, peanuts compared Pino! to... Yeah. Is everything we need to burn? Yeah, that's it. I grabbed the keys to the truck, then we can get the fuck out of here. So let me ask you, did Joe have sex with a black chick? Oh, if you could, if it did, if it did, then, then that's dope because this is definitely Joe's son. You know, she said, because he said like the mother and blah, blah, blah had a, uh, some kind of thing type of shit, but he, the father could have been an Italian, Italian. I'm like, wait a minute, hold up, that could be Barbara. That could be Joe right there. So, yeah, we're going to figure it out and see who could it be. Who could it really be? Oh. Look at that shit. Already, uh, you select your holsters and everything. So, pretty much... Yeah, so pretty much you got your holster. You got the kind of GTA type of vibe. Where, um, you walk slow, you know, and you use your right stick to actually select the weapon. You know what I mean? And yeah, so pretty much, it's like so it's definitely, it's definitely kind of like Mummy of GTA a little bit, the way it's played. And also, there's a difference. Um, if you want to run, you have to hit, you have to hold left stick to actually run, and X is to you know, uh, well, very much nothing, but uh. This is what Blood Trigger does. Blood Trigger just pulls out your gun, but you want to put it in the holster to make sure you, you just uh, hit right bumper and X. Yeah. Come on, there you go. All right, cool. Still not sure about leaving him like this. He came through mm -hmm. with the truck just like we asked. Mm -hmm. He agrees his partner to make it look good. So if you got mm -hmm. doubts, why well, take the chance? Yep. Why the hell not? Shoot him in the dick. Hey. Instead of shooting up the place, we should get moving. Yeah, we should leave him to die. You know what? I don't know about that. The shadow. Look at the shadow, man. The guns pull. Bam. All right then, that's that. Goddamn. <laughs> and X is to reload. Just to let you know. You got the keys, so you can drive. All right. Let's get the hell out of here. So yeah, this is pretty fun. I mean, I can't wait to go through the uh, physical, the game inside the game itself. Go to pawn shop and shit. Yeah, I don't know about the mirror. You can't get rid of it. Alt they do. But um, you only get three music stations. Same bullshit. Now let's just hope the cops are very stupid in this one. They're not like kind of like GTA type of smart. You know town. what I mean? We don't need the cops crawling up our asses. Mm. My old man wanted us to keep one of the guards alive, help throw the feds off the trail. Like you said, I'll take a chance. Besides, if I learn anything from being over in Nam, someone's willing to flip sides once, they're probably willing to do it a second time. Fuck you in the process. Yep, true, true, true. So answer me this. What's the craziest thing you saw over there? You don't want to know. Whoa, it froze for like five seconds. I got the right to know how my money is being spent. Oh, Georgie Marcano pays taxes. Dude, look at the view, bro. This is so hectic, man. Are you going to answer the question or what? Yeah. 
We on the coast of Quang Nai. Man. Evacuating oh, civvies for Charlie overran everything. Anyway, we getting them on the Alright, so left takes the hold. And up. guess what? She got a baby in one hand and the leash to a pig in the other. She starts up the ramp. Yeah, you get the huge camera. Her, tells her, you can only bring one thing on board. You draw out your gun. So she tosses the baby into the water. MP goes ape. Tell someone dive in after the kid. And, draw, and put her right back in. So right bump. She's thinking. You know what she says right. to she says, Left bumper to draw it out. And hit up to put it back in. Fucking Christ. Hey man, you ass. I can't believe I shot the car and they didn't do shit. <laughs> it's Zach like a Mafia too. They won't do nothing. It's not a fault. I shoot them, they just probably not like you think. Wow. Wow. Conditions over there, man. Good ass songs. One day you're raising cattle, tending your rice. Next day everything bombs Oops. flat. My bad, sorry. Put people up against the wall. They will do anything to survive. That better been one delicious fucking pig. There you go. Oh. Oh come on, I was trying to burn rubber. I guess you can't do it in this car. Just kind of scoot it up. There you go. What the fuck just happened? How can I turn off the hood? I really do want to know how to turn off that fucking hood. No. Game setting. Because I really. Oh yeah, we're definitely playing all hard, just to let you know. On foot camera, driving mode, normal simula simulations. Simulation is pretty much like if the road's high C, you be sliding. Or if it's rainy, you better have a hard grip on that car too. So we're gonna drive it like normal. On foot camera, follow camera. Oh, on foot follow camera, okay, yeah. yeah. But I tell you though, this game is off the fucking hook. I ain't gonna lie, this game is really off the hook. They actually did good. I should have really practiced on my lanes. You know what I mean? Just to uh, just make it more easier. practice on my driving physically. Wow, I thought it told me to go left. Shit. My bad. I just thought I thought I thought it told me to go left, so I mean right. What the hell? I mean I physical really wanted to play up at least two parts. Like I say if you do want to see more of this please let me know. Please let me know. Because I don't mind playing this game. I would not buy. <laughs> I said, hey, I want to see you play more of this, man. Alright. Cool. Hey, Mike. More, please. Alright. Not with it, buddy. Let's go over. I like, how they, I like how they have that little thing from a distance where it tells you how far you're from now. I like how they finally put that in here. I'm going to drive like this. Woo! They got the finest quality clothes. Bucks. Awesome. This is sure awesome. I love this game. I love it so much. But they, they this is not really New Orleans. Feels like we're in back in the Chicago or some shit. Like, like before New Orleans was even like New Orleans. I don't think it was really like this sometimes. Cause where I came from, it was never like this. This too damn wide open. Depending on certain places, and yeah, and also yeah, pigeons and shit. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty damn dope. How they, as you got, I can't wait to do this like walk on foot type of thing. At least they got certain things open though. 
like pizza places they're not open but that place up there is open they got certain type of things like bars um clubs up oh, swift still there haha <laughs> they should be like coca cola or pepsi Whoop, my bad sorry I'll just leave it under the seat. We're almost there. Sorry! I'm trying to drive this truck, can't see you on top of my hood. I mean I should, but like Oops. Oh, that's on foot. Time to see if these forged IDs are worth a fuck. I don't like the camera though, the review mirror just kind of fakes it feel like I'm playing on a, some kind of old crappy game. Like, look at the back, look in the mirror, you get what I'm saying? It's better off to have these mirrors, you know, without them mirrors up top. Sorry! Not a good driver. <laughs> you know what's awesome? You can definitely literally pause this game. Yeah, basically.